Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I want to answer two questions I get asked often. When and how do I harvest my zucchini or squash? One question. And then why did the tip of my zucchini or squash begin to turn brown and rot away? So let's just start with number one. Check out the video description. I will put in a video that talks about identifying male and female flowers, treating your squash and zucchini for diseases. I just did that video a couple days ago. Using the same plant, and just real quick, that's a female flower. Whenever you see a zucchini behind a flower, that's a female flower. It will continue to ripen if it gets pollinated. When it doesn't get pollinated, it's going to look something like this. The tip is going to narrow. It's going to begin to brown. And it's going to begin to yellow. And it's going to rot all the way back. And that isn't a disease. You know, it's nothing that you did wrong. It just wasn't pollinated. Sometimes people will harvest this guy, cut the tip off, and you can eat it. It's fine. But this is not going to grow and mature. This is a zucchini that got pollinated. And you can tell that the end is nice and round. It's expanding. Here's a squash bug, by the way. You don't want these in your garden. Get rid of them. Squash them. It's going to continue to grow. When it's about this size, you know, what is that, 10 inches maybe? It's tender, the seeds aren't forming. You can just pick it and use it in salads, you know, use it raw, lightly maybe stir fry it or saute it. It's absolutely delicious. You can let this grow. This will get bigger and bigger. It will even get three, four, five times bigger than that. But as it gets larger, it's going to develop seeds. The seeds become pretty tough and they're hard to digest. At that point, like maybe this gets three times the size, zucchini grows so fast. Like you might go away for three days, come back, and this little guy is now, you know, four or five times bigger than that. Anyway, the larger zucchini, people core out the seeds. They're hard to digest. And then they use the rind in making zucchini bread um, or zucchini muffins. You can chop the rind up once the seeds are removed. Use them in soups. You can roast them. You can do different things with them. The whole idea is when they're about this size, 8 to 10 inches, nice and tender, use them as you wish. Eat them raw. Use them in salads. As they get bigger, you are going to eventually have to take the seeds out and use, a bit, use them a little bit differently. Those are the main questions I get. You know, when do I harvest it? And it's up to you. Small, medium, large. Use it in different ways. The browning tip, that's because it wasn't pollinated properly and you can you know watch the other video but that's a female that's a female it's a zucchini right behind the flower the male flowers are right here one and just a stem so both flowers have to open up they have to get pollinated and when you're this small you can just pick it up give it a twist and it's going to just snap off just like that perfect for the garden <laughs> perfect from the garden, perfect for your kitchen. Use this however you want. You can see at this size, the seeds haven't really formed. I just like to thinly slice them, add in some vinegar, oil, salt, tomatoes, maybe some onions, and just make a zucchini salad out of it. It's absolutely delicious. I figured I'd show you what I made with them. I really recommend picking them when they're smaller. You'll use them more often. You'll eat more of them. When they get really large, it's really hard you know, to eat a zucchini that's almost two feet tall. When they're tender, you can use them in salads like this. Slice zucchini or squash, tomato, onion, garlic, oregano, salt, pepper, uh, vinegar, and oil. That's all I do. And when your plant is getting up to size, you're going to get a lot of zucchini coming off of there. So pick them smaller when they're tender, when they're sweeter, and just make salads or something like this. Five days later, you can see that summer squash, the zucchini, is finishing out, turning yellow and brown. And right in here, you can see two more that didn't get pollinated. Sometimes they look like that. Sometimes they start growing and it was a kind of a partial pollination. The good news is right here, zucchini, open flower, zucchini, female, open flower, and there is a male flower right there. So I'm going to have two more. These are going to grow really, really quickly. Also accidentally knock the flower off. People harvest the flowers, put them in batter, deep fry them. You can eat them that way. You can even harvest them just like that and you want to cut them off. It's hard to twist them off at that point. And you can use these in salads or however you wish. Best thing you can do, take care of your plant, manage the pests and diseases. You can't really do anything to increase the number of male flowers or female flowers. If they start to, you know, turn yellow, it's either because they were partially pollinated, they grow a little bit, brown out, 
or if they don't form at all they weren't pollinated at all so they just die when they look you know something like that I think it's important to cut in now that we're back out here five days later inspect your leaves again because I discovered more eggs right under there so they're gonna have to be removed let's see if there's any more here's another group I mean they come really fast so inspecting really every other day is gonna make a big difference in controlling the squash bug so that looks like you know a really good find that's gonna stop at least 40 50 baby squash bugs from taking over and growing in here and as I'm looking under the leaves there is the squash bug and I'm gonna grab it and squash it you just want to kill them off this is the best way to really control squash bugs on your plants and plant zucchini more in succession. We don't need five plants right now. Now that this plant is bigger, it's producing, go ahead and drop some more seeds somewhere in your garden. And this way your plants will produce, but more over a longer period of time rather than all at once. It's just a lot easier to enjoy your zucchini throughout the weeks rather than getting a dozen all at once. Thanks for watching.